Last night's explosive episode was just the beginning, even though we got to see a few endings. What's good, y'all? She gets this Erica Vane coming to you right here on Erica Vane TV with another Power Book 4 Force video. In this video, we are talking about episode 7 and the preview or the trailer that we got at the end of episode 6. If you're new here, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notification so that you don't miss out on any of my Power Book 4 Force videos. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So the trailer opens up with Tommy meeting up with Diamond and we got to see with last episode though they have separated though they have pretty much thrown Tommy out of the nest that he built they did so amicably they paid 38,000 per key for Tommy's product and that put them in an okay place they might not all be business partners anymore but they ain't beefing they ain't looking to, to kill one another or at least they not Jannard because Jannard is sensibly still looking to figure out what Tommy go got going on and and it's deep in his hater bag. I really just don't understand it. I am trying to empathize with him, but I don't understand why he cannot stop talking about Tommy like he has nothing else better to do, but that is the case. But in this trailer, we get to see Tommy and Diamond meet up at the diner, his favorite diner, and somehow Diamond has got a hold of a bit of Dahlia. And he's asking Tommy, do Tommy know something about it? And Tommy's playing it off because guess what? Y'all thought y'all was cute. Y'all thought y'all was coy when you decided to take the Serbians network that I helped y'all actually clear out that whole pipeline and throw me out of this whole thing, buy up all my products to think that y'all put me out of business. But this was my other thing that I had going on, but I ain't about to let you know that. I talked about in my breakdown video, y'all, how when they double back and when they need Tommy, the price is going to be different because yesterday's price ain't today's price. And when I think about how CBI got that extra percentage within that partnership, I'm just like, wow, I can't wait to when they double back when need Tommy. And he's talking about, no, nah, I'm going to need 40 and 50 percent and y'all can go ahead and split whatever's left as he should. From there, we get some cuts of Jannar at the strip club. It looks like he's starting to hit Dahlia. So it's going to be a thing. Like they're going to find out about Dahlia really quick and want to get in on it or want to take out whoever is introducing it to the market. And when Jannar finds out that it's Tommy, which I don't necessarily know if we're going to do see that in this episode, because like I said, Tommy is definitely playing it off when it comes to Diamond. Diamond ain't dumb, but he's playing it off. So it could be a little bit before they actually confirm that it's Tommy. And who knows what Vic is going to do when he figures out that oh it's Claudia behind there but honestly I can't wait. Speaking of Jannar who is delusionally predisposed to worrying about Tommy and staying in Tommy's business and or bushes he continues that in this episode and he is still hitting up DMAC to follow Tommy. We saw last episode DMAC was like nah I ain't gonna be able to do it after he saw Tommy and his and his father in the house arguing so I'm thinking that he started to put two and two together like yo this could be my family as well so I ain't about to follow him I'm too busy trying to bust the windows out my father's nightclub every other night like I can't be doing that's a conflict of interest I can only beat up on and or tear down one important family member at a time and I'm focused on my father right now instead of going up and actually confronting him and saying my piece I want to go ahead and keep shooting up his bar so nah I could be able to take this five thousand dollars to follow my my uncle Tommy who I don't realize is my uncle Tommy but Jannar don't look like he's taking no for an answer so he's looping DMAC back in in this trailer and hopefully this is going to put him in a position to actually talk to his father ultimately later on in the trailer we get to see DMAC tries to run up on Tommy and Tommy turns around with his gun in his waist like is this really what you want and I think that this is going to be the thing that sparks a conversation or something that ultimately leads DMAC back to JP even though we might wind up seeing at the season finale a reunion between between the two of them or any type of confrontation between the two of them hopefully d matt ain't doing nothing crazy in the finale and we getting like a he shoot his father and he on his last leg and we gonna have to wait until next season to figure out what happens hopefully ain't gonna be none of that y'all but i wouldn't put it past them and let me just actually clarify because when in the trailer when d matt is put back on him he's like i need to find him so basically Jannard, i guess loses eyes on tommy period he might have put somebody else on him but they don't actually have eyes on him tommy is moving with claudia they setting up the organization and getting dahlia out there and this is probably Jannard circling back of like nah i need to get eyes on him because ultimately he wants to make a play against him Jannard, can you just go ahead and let that hurt go baby let that hurt go now aside from that we get to see tommy taking out a few official looking people in suits and i don't 
don't know if these are police officers, additional serve people. I'm going to sit with this a little bit longer and think on it, but whatever it is, it's something that's going to elevate the intensity of what's actually going on because we get to hear Lil Liliana saying, if you keep pushing this hard, we're not going to win. And it's basically like Tommy has taken all the kid gloves off and it's not playing. So if people ain't getting in line, then he's back to moving with force. We saw the most of this season, he's been moving a lot with strategy, leaning into his ghost bag, everything that ghost has taught him, everything ghost has saw, showed him and how they set up their you know new york operation tommy has been able to mirror with his chicago operation set up however at some point a nail gonna have to get hit with a hammer and i feel like that's what we're about to see in episode seven as liliana is talking to him we get a cup to janar meeting up with some dudes i could totally see that this is him putting a bounty on tommy's head because you know even though he's busy building up cbi to be the biggest and baddest it has ever been he got plenty of time to worry about tommy and stay in his bushes <sighs> janar is so damn goofy for no reason then from there we get a bunch of quick cuts between claudia the chemist walter flynn tommy is checking claudia telling her like yo they in the lab yo if i gotta second guess you then we got a goddamn problem and i think that claudia really don't understand what she's getting into and this is probably what Walter Flynn means like I think that Walter Flynn is a raggedy mofo but maybe he is right because Claudia has been moving with such naivete has been really in her privileged white lady bag and I don't think that she really realizes what's actually going on so Tommy has to deliver this reality check to her behind and hopefully she gets it I definitely think that she is a liability type of partner to be in business with I'm so glad that Tommy has Liliana as his number two within his organization because if he was just out here with claudia she would have everybody killed she would have everybody going doing you know 20 to 30 or life with the feds not that i think that she thinks it's a game but she's moving a lot like this is a game while also trying to say this is my thing and it's so serious girl She's more preoccupied in standing up something and seeing a little bit of success just so that she can stand on her own and prove something than she is in actually worrying about setting up a system or execution for her potential empire that is actually going to be successful. Sis, I'm gonna need you to adjust these priorities because you sat tripping. I don't know why they got this chemist looking this stress. Liliana, you gonna need to get in this lab with her, honey, and learn how to cook Dahlia because she's literally the only person who knows how to do it and y'all can't seem to stop putting guns in her face and pissing her off. And the very last scene is a stressed Tommy. So episode seven, I am sure is going to be an explosive one when it comes to more issues i think we're probably going to see tommy run up against the most amount of snacks that he has seen this entire time being in chicago which is probably why he got his gun out and he busting caps and people off the rip and liliana has to coach him and tell him like yo i'm gonna need you to calm it down because you're doing a lot but that's my thoughts on the trailer for episode seven let me know your thoughts theories and predictions in the comment section down below i'm going down there right now to respond to you again if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and do so and join the tribe i promise you're going to love it here and i will see you in my next power book for force video